So a little while back, a bit of an uproar sparked online when people found this document by the Alabama State Department of Education. It outlined what are inappropriate games and activities for Alabama students. On the list was Duck Duck Goose, Red Rover, Kickball, you know, basically anything you would consider a literal schoolyard game. And that document is why I think I was asked this question this week. Is it true that yoga is not allowed in Alabama public schools? If so, why? <sighs> Alabama, you never stop surprising me. So parents in America in the 1990s were adorable. A lot of them never got the memo that the satanic panic of the 80s was fake and there never were any secret cabals of Satanists infiltrating society. So they were still keeping an eye out for the secret enemies in culture that would lead their kids astray. This included music, movies, TV shows, or anything else that might secretly be steering their children towards Satan. And it's in this time period that the folks in Alabama started looking at some very serious issues. In 1993, a policy was passed prohibiting meditation and hypnosis and other practices that could be considered tied to the hippy-dippy new age movement from happening in school. And lumped in with this was yoga. The reason? Because it was associated with Hinduism. Alabama parents were worried that yoga was going to turn their kids Hindu. I'm telling you, man, adorable. Of course, a quarter of a century has passed since then, and nowadays people consider yoga about as religious as a spin class. So why is it still banned? Well, the document that brought all this to light has been taken down by the current state superintendent, and he says he's not going to be putting it back up. So while the yoga ban is still on the books, I don't think anyone is actually enforcing it. And further policies have watered down yoga so much that PE teachers are actually free to teach yoga as long as they don't call it yoga. There's even this course guide for PE electives that recommends teaching stretching with an asterisk. And at the bottom of the page, the asterisk is explained as, quote, course may not be called yoga. However, only yoga technique poses slash exercises and stretches may be included in the content. Alabama. Anyway, I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for Reckon. Namaste. Hey everybody, if you like this video, you can help us out by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And if you've got questions about Alabama you want answered, you can leave your questions at al.com slash ask. Thanks for watching.